Hi, I'm Marika Hamilton, founder of Dealing with Healing. During a recent TEDx talk, Dr. William Lee, Harvard graduate, asked the question, can we eat to starve cancer to death? Well, this has to do with angiogenesis, our body's ability to grow blood vessels. Angiogenesis is the common thread in about 70 different diseases, but it is the hallmark in every type of cancer. Dr. Lee speculates that most of us have microscopic cancer, but thankfully it is harmless. But what is the tipping point that changes a harmless microscopic cancer into a deadly one? These microscopic cancers are harmless because they can't grow past being microscopic unless they develop their own blood supply to grow from. Yeah, you guessed it. That process is called angiogenesis. Dr. Lee says we are catching cancer too late in many instances. Too late meaning that cancer has already developed its own blood supply. And that's exactly what happened to me. So how do you improve your odds of keeping cancer harmless and microscopic? And how do you slow down or reverse cancer growth if you've already been diagnosed? Amazingly, and I say amazingly because when I watched Dr. Lee's lecture, I couldn't wait to get this information to you. Thankfully, it turns out that Mother Nature has provided us with all types of food that are anti-angiogenic, meaning these foods contain compounds that inhibit the ability of cancer to grow its own blood supply. And it's been shown that eating these foods at practical levels have an effect on slowing down the growth of cancer. Let me say that part again. It's been shown that eating these foods at practical levels has an effect on the ability of cancer to develop its own blood supply. So what are some of these foods? How about green tea and strawberries and blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, oranges, grapefruit, lemons, apples, pineapple, cherries, red grapes, red wine, etc., etc. Below this video, you'll find a list. Not too bad, huh? So this means if you've already been diagnosed, you need to get serious about having a diet full of anti-angiogenic food. And if you are healthy, this is your preventative wake-up call. Get these foods in your diet now and increase your chances of keeping your cancer cells harmless. I really hope that you'll take the time to watch Dr. Lee's lecture and you'll find it directly below on this page. I know you're gonna find it fascinating. Here's to our good health. I'm Marika Hamilton.